What is the grey rock technique? You may have heard of the grey rock technique as a way to deal with a narcissist or with a borderline. And no, it has nothing to do with rocks. But it's a way to protect yourself from the manipulations of a narcissist or a borderline. And you achieve it by, first of all, emotionally detaching. You maintain emotional distance. You avoid reacting to the narcissist or to the borderline provocations. For instance, if they are triangulating you and trying to make you feel jealous by using someone else, you don't react to that. Then you keep your responses neutral. You try to keep conversations with the narcissist and the borderline as plain as possible. For instance, if they're accusing you of something, you don't get angry in return, but you respond in a calm and neutral and cold manner. You also try to limit the kind of engagements that you have with a narcissist and with a borderline. And if they are accusing you of things or um, their own imaginations, you simply don't entertain those conversations with them. So you try to avoid topics or arguments that are going to trigger a debate or an argument or a fight. So essentially what you're going to be doing is you're going to be a bit like a wall or, or like a rock. So no matter what they do, no matter what they throw at you, you will stand up, you'll be firm and still. And eventually, over time, they will get tired of throwing things at you because they see that the wall is not reacting or the rock is not reacting. So the final thing to do here is to use this technique consistently. The narcissist and the borderline craves your attention. So when they see that no matter what they try to do, you are cold and neutral, they will eventually stop trying to manipulate you. So that is how you grey rock. But the bigger question you should ask yourself is, why do I want to stay in a relationship where I have to deploy a technique like this?